I'm mad at you. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad boy. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I am Super Game Dad, and we are shrine hunting on the surface. We have a lot of shrines left in the last episode. I thought we maybe only had like 16 left because the load screen said we had 104 shrines found. But when I go and I marked all the light root spots on the map, I put a little diamond everywhere there was a light root in the depths and no shrine found on the surface. And the number I came up with was staggering. There is at least 25 or 30 spots that I have not found shrines on on the surface but we have light roots in the depths and they are just all over the map we found the most shrines in the upper right corner in Akala region if you actually look here we have almost no triangle marks um, because we found all the shrines in this area but we do have some more on the northeast side that we can get so we're gonna start right around where we were the great Hyrule forest Actually, let's start in the Elden Canyon region. We should have two right here. Let's go for these two. I think a good spot to start would be this Skyview Tower. Elden Canyon, Skyview Tower, and then we're going to head east from there. I think some vehicles might come in real handy for doing some of this, too. For now, we're facing the wrong way. For now, let's just float down and see where we end up. A beautiful sight, isn't it? We gotta kind of go this way. Who knows what kind of things we'll find along the way, too. Let's see. Do I want to build an air bike? We've got some hot springs here. Treacherous terrain. Let's bu let's build an air bike to get over there. How much zonite we have? 114. That's pretty good. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go around this way, and then we'll cut left. Ooh, I think we see it. Or is that the farther one? I don't know. Is that a horse stable we've never been to? I think so. Look at this. We're just discovering all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's a new horse stable. Huh. Well, let's start off with the shrine. And then we'll go check out the horse stable. We might see some side quests or something, too, that we could do. We're not just going straight for shrines. Anything else we see that's interesting, side quests, stuff like that, we're also going to hit that up, too. Wind power. All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Looks like we got some um, fans. We got to somehow arrange these fans so they'll spin all of these. Ooh, I got an idea. Maybe we could stick them to this thing right here. Yeah, we can. And we'll put another one on, maybe on the opposite side. Which way is it facing, though? It's facing... That way. But that would be facing the same way we want him. So when this one comes around, it'll be facing this way. So this will be blowing it in the same direction. Oop. I think we might have had it there. Let's check. Let's try it now. Ha ha ha. We did it. Awesome. Was that the end of it? Yeah, that's it. Cool little puzzle.
All right, let's do a float down to this uh, to this new horse stable. There's the quartet jamming away. Here's our boy. Oh, there you are, partner. Have you seen all the men in underpants at the stable? <laughs> what? Let's ah. see. I've been listening to the chirps and warbles from my sources. They say that Princess Zelda ordered all the team members of the Zonai survey team to here to dress that way in their underwear. Mm. Now that's strange. This spot used to see a lot of travelers coming through here on their way to the Goron City, but they're mostly taking a new road now, so monsters have been making their home in the area. I've been telling folks that it's too dangerous around here to walk around in just their underpants. They won't listen to me though. They insist they're following Princess Zelda's orders. Mm. I've also heard that some of these underdressed men have set off to explore a place near here. Mm. Where is he talking about? They went to look into a monster den up this mountain road and haven't come back yet. Mm. Why would Princess Zelda give such a reckless order to the survey team? These chirps and warbles are going to give us a real story to report on. I just know it. Oh man, we got to figure this out. So he said it was up this way, right? Maybe it's just along this road? A monster den. Maybe there's a cave around here or something. Is this a Gerudo? What's she doing over here? Oh! Oh, the Korok mask! Well, first, let's talk to her. Savota. Savota. Ah. Hey, you. Where do you think you're headed? If you were planning to take the road to Death Mountain, don't. The increase in monsters has laid the whole thing to waste. And you have to be extra careful around the grasping, reddish-black monsters that crawl along the ground. Mm. If you're attacked by one of those, you're not making it back alive. Oh, I've taken those down, lady. You don't even know me. You don't know who I am. You see my sword? That's right. So where is this... Korok spot. We got a Korok spot. Uh, maybe it's up there? Let's keep looking around. It's still shaking. I wonder if it doesn't know the difference between, like, height-wise? Could be above us on that arch. See, now it's stopped. I wonder if we get need to get up on this big archway. Okay, okay. I hear you, little buddy. Or little mask. Whatever. <laughs> Man, we're going to need more Zonite. It's all right. For now, we'll spend what we got. We could always get more later. Let's check up on this arch. <laughs> they mean this? These monsters? Ouch! Oh, he got us. Is there one up here too? Man, this guy's whooping our butts. We ought to be more careful. It's it's because he's got all that reach. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> okay. So back to this Korok. Cora. Up here, maybe? Yeah, see, it's going crazy again. We need a hammer here. Maybe it's inside one of these. No. Hmm, is right, little Cora.
Could be on this side, like up top. Let's climb up here. Get him! The thing stopped shaking. Could be a new type of Korok puzzle that, you know, we haven't had yet. Wonder, oh, maybe it's this. See this little flower here? Here we go. What do we got to do with this again? Um... <laughs> there he is. So we just got to hit it. All right, now how are we going to get how the heck are we going to get back up to our air bike? There we go. Where was our bike? Easy, easy. See these summer wing, wing butterflies, I think we needed them for upgrading something. Oh, look out. The air bike. Oh, I think we left the air bike over this way. Get him, Goro. Are the piggies back? Oh, man. Let's get him. You've got him stun locked now. Took him out. Hey, how come he gave us a blue bacoblin horn? Isn't that weird? Maybe we got a silver one too? Hey, wait a minute. Our air bike's gone. It always is. What a crock. I hate how easily our air bikes disappear in this game. I think we we left it right here is where we left it before. But yeah, it's totally gone. There's a treasure up here we can get though. I'm still happy we got the Korok. I think I want to go back to the horse stable now. We'll see if there's any other cool side quests. We could rest at the inn, restore our health. That's a good start to this plan. And then we have another shrine that was not too far from here. Oh, you know what? We never fulfilled this guy's quest. Underpants, hmm. Yeah, I've seen them all. I need him to point us to the direction too. Up this mountain road. So does he mean like this mountain road? Or like this mountain road, like this big main road? That's the question. I think he means this road. But it's kind of hard to tell, right? Let's follow this path. Maybe there's like a, maybe this will lead us to a cave or something up here. Come 
monster den, monster den, monster den. Ooh, is this a cave? Horak's going crazy again. What is it, little guy? What is it, boy? Maybe it's just in here. Oh yeah, look at this. This is gonna be it. Yeah. Okay, so still no Master Den, though. Um, we're still technically on the mountain road, I guess you could maybe say. Yeah, I don't know. I'm starting to think that it was the main Monster Road. I think we're going to go back. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to see from up here on the tippy top. So if we follow this road... Maybe we got to go through there. Underneath that arch. Cross. Let's do that. Let's head that way. Oh, this must be the monster den. I see, I see people in their underwear, too. <laughs> oh, we should heal just in case we get into a, a rough fight in here. So let's see, let's organize. You got any just good regular meals? Energizing omelet, here we go. Some simmered fruit. Aww. Princess Zelda has given the order, so here we go, Sango. Huh. It won't be scary if we both go together all at once. On the count of three. One, two, three. Aww. Huh, Sango, why did you go? You didn't move either, Drant. Uh, what's going on here, guys? Oh. Ah! Scared him. <sighs> what? Oh, it's you. I thought it was a monster. Oh. We're trying to conduct research on the monsters holed up in this cave. But look at us. We're hardly geared up to deal with any threats. We can't bring ourselves to go in there. Our research is at a standstill. Ah. Princess Zelda sent out very specific directions for us on the survey team, and it's this, word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. I know Princess Zelda wants us to do it this way, but we're really only members of the survey team. Aww. It's scary enough to deal with monsters with equipment, but... Without any? Mm. Ah, if only someone could do this. Show us how it's done. Well then, we could try it to do it without gear too. Alright, I'll, I'll try it guys. Ooh. Are you serious? You'll need to go in wearing as little as we are. Are you sure about this? Well, that's oh. fine. Now then, I'll hold on to your other clothes and any equipment you may have. Oh nice, so this is going to be like a naked quest in here. We're just going to have to rely on stuff we could find in this cave to survive. Ah. So cool. Just give me a shout when you want your equipment back. Oh. We'll hold back and learn your methods from a distance. We're just not confident in the whole physical side of this. Alright, here we go. Woohoo! Nakey dinky. Hey, we still got our, uh, our paraglider, so that's good. Oh, we got a guy here. Bad guy. The good thing is, we still have all our hearts. We gotta be sneaking. Oh, stay sneaking. Stay sneaky. Got a stick. I don't know if they'll see us if we try to sneak around this way. 
There's a mushroom here. I could use that. Toasty sunshroom. And a baked apple. Hey, let's break this. There might be some more stuff in here. Ooh, arrows. And then if we take this guy out first, hmm. I got a plan. Let's do some fusing, right? So we got that. Where is it? This stick. Let's drop. Should we drop this too? No, let's do this. Let's fuse the stick to this. Okay, that increased our attack power right there. Let's get this guy first. Now we got some extra reach, you know? Uh-oh. We need to unfuse this fast. How do we do it again? Oh, here we go. Um, Destroy fused material. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now we got something good. Traveler's Claymore. So what we could do is we could take that, equip that. Boom. Fuse it with the rock. Boom. Now we could get this guy out of his shell. Ha ha. Ah. This traveler's spear is going to be strong too. <laughs> I like how they give us lots of stuff though. Lots to work with here. I think the best thing to do now is switch this broadsword. What about fuse material? Oops, wrong button. The boko horn is going to be the best, so let's drop that. Fuse it with the broadsword. There we go. See, this guy's going to be the strongest yet. Got him! Woohoo! Took him out. That's all the master forces, right? Okay. So now we can go talk to these guys. They're going to be impressed. We came in there in our underwear. And we survived. So, they could use our tactics to survive next time. However, it would be nicer if they just didn't go out in their underwear. <laughs> They're not all legendary heroes like us, right? Wow, you survived! I actually beat them! What? You really defeated the monsters wearing only your underpants? I'm gonna tell the other members of the team about your stunning work here. Please, join us back at Foothill Stable. Thank you! Okay then, I'll return the gear that I was holding for you. We'll head back to Foothill Stable and wait for you there. Sweet! We impressed them, that's for sure. But now we can check this cave out, right? Like, there's usually a bubble frog in every cave. So I don't see why this cave would be any different. Must be missing something. Back here. A hole somewhere. A little teeny baby hole. To take us deeper in the cave. Oh, here we go. Man, that one was sneaky. Awesome. That's got to be where the bubble frog is. I bet money on it. Woohoo! Gotcha. <laughs> See, now, if I remember right, we get a check mark on the cave, too, right? Boom! Nailed it. 
Now let's warp back to the foothill stable. We can delete that stamp too. We could talk to these people in the underwear. Are they still in their underwear? Yeah, they're all still in their underwear. He beat the monsters. Oh, great, you came. Everyone, this is the one who did our survey team a great service, defeating the monsters in just his underpants. Oh, Incredible, please tell us how this is actually done. Um, excuse me, what's all this with wearing only underpants? Oh, oh sorry, I guess I, you haven't heard Princess Zelda's order for all of us on the survey team yet. She said we had to leave the comfort of studying indoors. She ended with these words. So prepare your mind and body, and then explore in underpants. Uh... No, I got the order too, that's why I'm all the way out here doing research. But what Princess Zelda really said was this. So prepare your mind and body and then explore all other paths. Not what you guys thought. <laughs> What's that? Then all this time we spent doing our survey research in our underpants was a total waste of time? Hmm. Well, not entirely. Princess Zelda did say to strengthen our mind and body, then to go outside to push ourselves to excel like never before. Is that not the spirit of what we were trying to do? Our methods as researchers have tr been truly tested. Oh. Come on, let's return to our work and keep this high standard forever. He's got a point there. They were strengthening their mind and body by doing that challenge. Let's see what Penn has to say. Uh-huh, I see. So the chirps and warbles that started us off here really paid off in the end. What a story. The team here botched the listening part and went overboard with the doing part. Still, that's commitment. Well, one thing's for sure. Princess Zelda really is a top-notch leader. What a powerful inspiration she is. We've worked together to chase eight of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. There's never time for a break, you know? I'd better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. 100 bucks. Oh. oh, that's right. Tracy has had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprise there. Oh, gave us an extra 20. With that, I'll take wing. This story isn't going to write itself after all. So long. Pen is out. What's this lady doing with the dogs? Here, little doggies. Hi. Hey there, traveler. Welcome to Foothill Stable. You uh, got a second? I gotta tell you something. So, there were these guys in their underwear just hanging out at Foothill Stable, which is where I work. No joke. It was undershorts everywhere you looked. It was the worst. But they're all gone now. I'm sure someone gave them a piece of their mind to chase them off. I need to thank whoever that someone is. Anyway. Now I can look after the doggies without getting an eyeful, which is nice. Uh, doggies? <laughs> That's right. These little guys, aren't they the cutest? But they're not just cute. Oh, no, no, no. They have this amazing ability. Their incredible sense of smell can lead you to treasure. Mm. But they won't do that for just anybody. You have to show them lots of love first. You know, befriend them and feed them. But they'll repay that love by showing you the most amazing things. <gasps> oh shoot, it's already dark. I lose all track of time when I'm with the doggies. You need a place to stay until morning, Traveler? You can rest at the stable. So we've got to feed the dogs, and then they'll lead us to treasure? Hey, is that a cave there? Interesting. Uh, so feed us. Show me treasure, dogs. Can I pet them? What are we gonna feed them? What do dogs like? Hmm. Let's try to feed them an apple. You guys like apples? Go ahead, eat it. Maybe the dogs like meat, right? I don't know if I have any meat though. 
Yeah. Let's check this little spot in here. I don't know if it's a cave or it's just like a little archway. Maybe this is leading to a cave. Whoa. Someone's camping out over here. Let's check it. Gentlemen. Oh, is this a cave though? How are there so many? Uh, I really thought we'd found it too. Who knows how long it would take to open all of those one by one. My arms are just tied. Or my arms are tired just thinking about it. And every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. Uh, what's the matter, guys? Hmm? Shh, Kristen. Hush up. Ah. Hey, buddy. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? Oh, he's mad at us. Ah. What's your deal? Wait. Don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Miss Ghost's treasure too? Uh -huh. Prison, don't just say that. Shh. Ah. Ah. I mentioned Miss Ghost's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Miss Ghost's treasure? Uh. Whatever. No sense in trying to hide it now. Miss Ghost's the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. But Miss Ghost's legend expands beyond mere banditry. You see, Misko is equally famous for fashion. The stories say that they spent a lifetime collecting clothes. Clothes that are now hidden across Hyrule. Oh. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. That's why we're here. Uh? We got here first, so if you think you're if you're thinking of swooping in and snatching those duds, think again. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's no way he'll be able to find Misko's treasure in that sea of chests. There's nothing to worry about, Dak. Uh... Mm, you got a point. Yeah, okay, listen up, you. We've got, you've got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about to fare any better. <laughs> not unless you got a nose like a dog and can sniff out the treasure. Oh. That's it, Dak. Let's give a dog some food or something to get it to like us. And then it'll lead us to the uh... treasure. I was being sarcastic, Prison. Ah. Sorry, Dak. Hmm. That's it, guys. Oh, and here's a dog. <laughs> what a coincidence. Just don't know what kind of food to give the dog. I wonder if we give it some cooked meat. Didn't we have some cooked meat? Here. Here, little doggy. We gotta figure out what to feed you. Um. Oh, we don't have anything cooked. What about some cream of vegetable soup? Now we could only eat it. Do we have any raw meat? Dogs like meat, right? Or fish? What about a high rule bass? Here, puppy. Oh, he's... Oh, is... he likes us now. Is he gonna follow us? Yeah, come on, doggy. Here, boy. Oh, maybe he doesn't like us enough yet. We gave him food. He didn't eat it, but... Hmm. What if we cook it? Let's cook the bass. Where'd it go? Maybe we gotta sort it because we just picked it up. Here it is. <laughs> Roasted bass. Now eat it. Oh, we can't hold it though. Only we could eat it. <laughs> okay, let's give him something else. How about an apple? Here you go, puppy. Apple. You like that? Oh, he's eating it. Yes. Come on. Come with me. 
help me find this treasure, dude. No, no, no. Come on. We got to feed him more treasure? Maybe we should go in here. I, I just thought of If there's any bad guys in here, we should probably take them out first. Maybe he's scared of bad guys? Could be it. I mean, there's not that many treasures in here, right? We could just check them all. <laughs> I am curious why he's not following us all the way, though. What if we leave him a trail? Come on, don't you like us? What's something we have a lot of? Will he eat spicy peppers? We like spicy peppers. This way, boy. That's perfect. Of course you like spicy peppers. You little furball. <laughs> Yummy spicy peppers. I'm surprised his mouth isn't burning up right now. <laughs> Come on, puppy. Here, boy. I think it would have been a lot easier just to open all of these chests until we found the right one. But I wanted to test the dog theory. All right, boy. Where's the treasure? Sniff it out. Help us out here. Is it this one? Where's he going? Hey! Hey, I gave you all those spicy peppers. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. That took a long time. Go find the treasure. Get over there. Darn little stinking dog. I'm mad at you. Bad dog! Bad dog! Bad boy! Oh, here's the bubble frog. Alright, we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. I don't know what the right way... Maybe I didn't give him the right food. Maybe he's mad at me because he doesn't really like spicy peppers that much. Hmm. I don't know. But we gotta check every one of these treasure chests. To find Misko's treasure. Oh. Alright, let's get to work. We freed them all from the cave. One of these is gonna have something legit. Yep. Ember trousers. Maybe that was it. Huh? Whoa, hey, what did you do? <laughs> They're gonna be mad at me now. No way, there are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit. But we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasures long enough to know the rules. Finders, keepers. We're not gonna try and take it from you. Uh, yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in here? You know what? I'm gonna look for myself. Out of the way. 
Hmm, treasure, you in there? Ha ha! What do you find? Ah. Oh darn, it's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, Prison, let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah. You got it, Dak. What's up with that bottle? Is that something? Let's examine it. To you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule. Notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. What? Don the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel. One in the skull's left eye. And one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. Good luck. Whoa. This just got serious. So we come back. We got to find three keys. We come back here. Maybe this will open us up. And it's going to give us like an ultra awesome sword. Dude, that sounds awesome. Ultra, ultra awesome. So we've got we've to track this down. That's something for the next episode for sure. Maybe we'll go and uh, we'll take a sidetrack from just trying to find uh, shrines and see if we could do that. Man, I did not expect this little path to lead us to something so cool. Oh, look at these guys. They still have a quest. So what now? I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Way to go, Dak. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. hmm? Sorry, what? Oh, come on. Can't have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? Huh. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to tell you one word about the Bandit Misko's old manuscripts. Huh. Prison, why? Why would you say that? Ah. I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Oh. That's fine. The treasure's as good as ours. And this guy, this guy would never work out these riddles, even if we told him. Hey, buddy. Want me to tell you what the manuscript said? <laughs> yeah, tell me. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give up that info for free. It'll run you a hundred rupees. Deal, bro. Mm. Pleasure doing business with you. Trust me, that was a steal. If you find the treasure, it'll be worth way more than measly hundred rupees. There are three manuscripts. Which one do you want to hear? Oh. The twins. All right, then. <clears throat> I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. In West Nakluda stands twins, poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twin sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. Oh, That's what it says. I bet your head's really spinning after all that. An amateur like you probably has no idea where to even begin. Good thing we've already puzzled everything out, right, Dak? <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to try putting your little rookie brain to the test. But we've got those treasures in the bag. Dude, twins manuscript. All right. Ah. Dak, this guy's back. Yeah, I want to hear the other ones. Want me to tell you what another manuscript said? Tell me a new one. You know the deal, 100 rupees. Okay, the pirate cavern is the next one. Sure thing, listen close. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. A forgotten pirate cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Kales, overlooking the Nakluta Sea. The short, shrill song of wind through the lips will open the way to my treasure. That's it. Did you already solve the riddle from the first old manuscript? You only get one at a time. That's the rule. We've already sold both of these other ones, haven't we, Dak? <laughs> Naturally, there's no riddle that can't be solved once it falls into my hands. The one I gave you was pretty easy, though. And if you think long and hard about it, you might be able to figure it out. So, pirate oh. manuscript. Let's give him 100 bucks for the third run. 
100 rupees. Deal. Okay, listen up. I discovered the green clothes. Okay, that's the same part. Here it is. Statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert. Enter the valley carved into Hamar's descent and shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. The path to the treasure will open before oh. you. The end. Oh. Not gonna lie, this one's a real doozy of a riddle. It's hard to solve for a manuscript alone. But I'll tell you the answer if you want. Ah? Uh? Chris, no! <laughs> no! It was a joke, Dak. All right, so we just opened up three side quests to this Misko's treasure. And if we look at the map, we could mark this cave. Uh, let's give it a good one. Let's give it a red pin. And it said, after we get the three Misko's treasures, we come back here. I still really want to check out Foothill Stable and see if there's anything else here that we missed. Beetle's here. Sometimes there's lots of side quests over at the stables. She came over here. <laughs> oh, it's you, Traveler. Thanks to you, we could all dress normally again. <laughs> then that girl from the stable came over to talk to some of us on the survey team. She knows a lot about dogs. Ah. There aren't many girls right around my age in Lurland, Lurland Village. So yeah, gotta say it was great to talk. Lurland Village. Oh. That's where I come from. Far, far, far to the southeast from here. It's on the sea. Everyone there makes a living by fishing. I can't swim. Just don't have the knack for it. So I didn't bother with all that fisherman stuff. Uh... Being on the Zonai survey team is the life for me. So I volunteered for action. And action's what I got. But I have to say, I heard that pirates have taken over my village. That worries me. I'm not sure if I could ever go back. Well, you're in luck, pal, Regan. The pirates are gone. Are you serious? I'm glad everyone back home is okay. Whew, what a relief. Yeah, we saved the day. What about in here? Any any other action in here? What about this guy? A special edition again. Good news, I hope. Demon King, cause of the upheaval, returns. I don't understand what I'm reading. What's the full story? Sources have confirmed the return of the Demon King within Hyrule Castle. Watch out for increased monster activity. What's a demon king? What am I supposed to do if I see increased monster activity? Ugh. Call me. I'll take him out. Where'd he go? Ugh, finally. I look like a real survey team member now that I can dress in the official uniform. But, you see, I have a best buddy, Dilly, who I usually travel everywhere with. And he came out here with me, but somewhere along the way, I lost track of him. Well, I mean, I actually lost sight of the guy. We were around Rabone Bridge when it happened. That's near Wetland Stable, kind of southwest of here. Hmm. Suddenly, just gone. If you see him, do me a favor, huh? Tell him he's got me worried. Ooh. Ah, welcome Ooh. to Foothill Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Woohoo! Now then, once again, Ooh. welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? Uh, let's do a Melania Ooh. bed. Yeah, yeah. Well, we also share a mi it shares a mystical message. Ooh. Excellent. I am Melania, the god of horses. Mm. Hunger. I hunger for carrot stew, a meal made by cooking carrots in goat butter with tabantha wheat and fresh milk. Whoa. Bring me the food I crave and I will enhance your horse's abilities. Epic. So we got a little whisper of what this guy, what this horse god needs. I wonder if that happens every time you sleep in a Melania bed. I didn't know that. Very cool stuff. Ooh. I heard a message. Hey, we got another point, too. Full health, Ooh. another point. Oh, something else, Link. I heard rumors that the horse god moved to Akala. Talk is he can resurrect dead horses. Just the kind of thing you'd expect of a god. Mm. I can't help but think things would have gotten a lot livelier around this stable if he'd come by here. 
Ah, uh, don't listen to me. I should stop complaining about things I can't change. Back to work, back to work. Interesting. And we've also got a Korok. Oh, this... I wonder if that's the Korok that's, uh, rustling the mask. Let's talk to this guy one more time. Dilly. So, he was around Rabone Bridge when he vanished. Rabone Bridge near Wetland Stable. Interesting. Alright, guys. Well, we've been going for a while, so I think we're going to end this episode here. Press the like button if you're enjoying this series, and in the next episode, we'll pick it up right where we left off. And we'll try to find this guy's friend. We'll get some Koroks, and we're going to go after Misko's treasure. Everybody, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later, guys.